Right, hello everybody, welcome to the replay analysis of Bloodstep vs. Bloodstep's Nurgle vs. some Necro. Uh, Flicky Flack's on comms with us. Hello, Flicky Flack. Hello, Jim. Who is Bloodstep? <laughs> and we start with a pitch invasion, which has <laughs> pretty much <laughs> yeah. wrecked him. <laughs> yeah, there goes my flanks. Wow, that is brutal. Um, so. If we look at the teams, obviously down a lot of TV to get uh, Grashnak. Um, I mean, I guess that's fine to get Grashnak. I don't know. I don't know what I'd get. Some block dudes. Crappy beast. <laughs> I, hate, I hate the beast of Nurgle. Uh, this is one of those reasons why I hate it. If you did have a beast of Nurgle, you might not have got this matchup. Um, so, you know, there you go. And if you hadn't got this matchup anyway, you could have just induced one. So I really hate Beast in TV matchmaking environments after the start. Uh, a strength up warrior is all right, isn't it? But again, only all right. It, it takes some payoff, doesn't it? To uh, it takes a while to pay off. Yeah, so it's a bit, it's bit to get horrible. blocked on eh? mm, It's a bit horrible for Nurgle. Like, I mean, you've got to take it. You've got to take it. It's just a bit horrible for Nurgle mm -hmm. early on when they're already struggling to uh, be a more bloaty and uh, he's got a really weird wolf there hasn't he <laughs> wrestle strip Adj. yeah that is bizarre I do not condone that oh my god then the triple, <laughs> triple. Yeah. I mean I generally don't like Grashnak anyway I, I I very much tend to prefer Borak um, it's very rare indeed that I take Grashnak um, the, the bloody skills aren't working here. Right, here we go. And he's got a block tackle, mighty blow. So the one wolf's good, the other one's weird. Strength up guard, mighty blow guard. So yeah, that hit. I mean, it's about as real, about as reliable as you can get, isn't it? I mean, apart from just blitzing with the mighty blow beast, it's more likely that you don't turn over, isn't it? But yeah, then, I could have got. Yeah, I was thinking. Yeah, I probably should have done, but I couldn't really get three dice on it, but I guess that the beast got blocked in the three dice. Yeah, it's one in 27, isn't it, for the for Grashnak to fail and only one in 36 for the beast man. But then you can't really blitz with a beast man because you would be in contact with this other guy. But I guess you could have blitzed the guy behind him with a beast man. I was going to blitz him after because I didn't want to get stuck on... I, I would have got stuck there, wouldn't I, if he was still standing. If yeah. the two of them were together. Oh yeah, you didn't have to blitz it because you're strength six already. Yeah, yeah, all right. Then. But it was a bit of a frenzy trap as well. It was a three D, three D into a two D, wasn't it? It was. Yeah. So maybe you should have just blocked with the uh, warrior first, anyway. On the other side, he could have blocked, couldn't he? With block. Mm -hmm. No, he'd already blocked. He'd blocked the guy and pushed him behind. Oh, yeah, okay, he'd okay. The zombie. Okay, but yeah, obviously <coughs> losing these guys is horrible. I mean. There's an argument for just going, like, you know, moving back the, the beast man, moving back the other pest to go, and then, like, so you've got somebody near the ball. Because, like, his wolf's terrifying, isn't it? Actually, you could have blitzed his wolf, couldn't you? Nah. Not realistically with a guard next no. to him. Like, the wolf's pretty terrifying at this point. It is. So, you probably, rather than thinking about who the three dice and stuff, but then by three dicing him, you free up the zombie, who can then move across to to cover that a little bit. Maybe the maybe the warrior should have just blocked directly ahead of him, and then moved the beast across. You know, and then like obviously it would have still failed with the with the <laughs> with Grashnak failing the three D. But if the warrior had just blocked straight up, then um, then Grashnak could have blocked. And then the the beast could have moved across. The zombie could have moved across, and then yeah, probably moved the uh, other pest to go back first. Because they're like it's just terrifying, isn't it? Wolves in your backfield is is a bad, yeah. real bad place to be. And hello everybody. But I mean, this is a horrific uh, pitch invasion, isn't it? What two for him and five for you? <laughs> yeah, he has got the he has got the fame on me, but uh, yeah, it's still tough. 
I mean, even with like that, there's literally. Oh no, it wasn't five. It was yeah, no, it was five. Yeah, it was five. Yeah, Grashnak was extra. So, but like five is that would be rough on a four plus, wasn't it? Was it a four plus? No, no, it'll have been a five. Just one down off him. Yeah. yeah. So, like even on four plus, getting five out of eleven. Yeah. <laughs> right. So now this is a terrifying turn, isn't it? So what's the plan here? Mm. I mean, yeah, it's tough with everyone that's down. Everyone down is based. So I think just stand everybody up first. Uh, and then I'm just, I need to get the ball in my hands. And ideally I wouldn't, I would have liked to have blitzed the wolf, but the only one who can do that is the ball carrier. And that would, as the guy at the back, the ball carrier, and then he would have to GFI to then get the ball after the blitz. So I don't think I can do that. Um, so all I'm thinking is I've got one person who can get back and that is the mighty blow. So blitz, blitz the zombie, get him free. And get some sort of cover back to the ball. Yeah, it's really rough. <laughs> um, I think you've got to pass this turn, which is which is ludicrous, isn't it? So if you go four, five, six, then you can pass. I mean, if you've got the stream on here, that's going to help. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. If you stand there and then pass to here, so the mighty blow blitzes runs back to that square. Mm -hmm. He goes over to that side. You block with the beast. Um, I guess you stand up that guy and block with a beast so you can three dice. And then you can move the warrior back the other side. But then you st And then you stand him up so that the uh, strength four can't hit him. That that seems the safest one. That seems pretty safe, right. doesn't it? Yeah. Um, but obviously they're pretty safe. Like, you still got to do a st fucking stupid pass. And I guess you can block, block this guard guy at the end. Oh no, you still have to stand them both up. Oh god. No, oh, it's not even three dice. There's no point standing him up. He could GFI at the end to try and complete the cage then, because you've got a bark of it. Okay. I guess tagging that, tagging that wolf almost is enough, doesn't it? Oh, the bark has gone mental. He <laughs> <laughs> certainly has. <laughs> What's he doing? <laughs> yeah, I would have definitely rather done the block with the beast to free up and two guys. the warrior, yeah. I did I did think about that. I did look at it. Um, I can't remember why I didn't. Yeah, because now also you're even not even next to him, so now you're, yeah. you're yeah, still Yeah, now I isolate my beast, which is shit. But yeah, actually, yeah, you didn't really need a cage, did you? Actually, thinking about it, you were right to not even try a cage. Because by basing him, okay, it's a three plus, but then you've got the frenzy trap with him next to him. I was hoping I didn't have to. Turns out I did. Well, yeah, but I mean, it was risky to try a cage, wasn't it? Like, you know, you could have, again, if, if that rotter had been one across, then you've got a screen with that guy who you freed up. And then you could have passed yeah. it to him. But I mean, and then he could have come back. But even then, it's like, it's just hard, isn't it? Like, <laughs> it was really hard. Like, that's adding two, three pluses to, to your roll, to your turn, mm. to get it safe. So, like, that's, it's all fraught with difficulty, isn't it? There was no real. But now, choices. now that I look back, I definitely should have used the beast to free up that warrior and plug, plug the gap that he's about to, uh, that he's about to take advantage of. Yeah, I think I think that was the play, yeah, for sure. He's running away with his fleshy. Yeah, he was it was a bit of an odd one. He kept he did make some very strange moves throughout the game. I wouldn't hate dodging his uh fight here, yeah. And again if that guy had been one across there would have been a screen there. Yeah. yeah, and that gives him the 2D. Yeah, that was pretty good. Pretty good from him there. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Well, that was something, wasn't it? It was. 3 plus, 3 plus. Sack. Scatter catch on a 5 plus. 
3 plus 3 plus the spell. Yeah. But I mean, it could have been one of the other bouncers and he could have just picked it up. Like, the catch wasn't as lucky as it seemed, was it? Yeah, I guess. Because if it had just gone on the ground, he could have picked it up, but uh, it was still it was still dead lucky. But yeah, maybe. So maybe he should have. Like, that's the thing you don't know, just because that all worked. You know, you could have gone for the pass and just fucking won the pass, and then he just dodges away and picks it up. Yeah, absolutely. I'm not. I never really looked at the pass. Sometimes, you know, it's not something that I, I look to do but as often as maybe I should. The riskier players to. When, when I absolutely have to. I felt like that was just about enough, but I definitely should have freed up the Warrior to to come and screen the white away um, and and just have another Warrior back just doing something more relevant than standing on the, on the middle of the pitch. Mm. And it was a real shame, actually, that you, that it was a blizzard as well, otherwise you could have tried GF out of the ball carrier, couldn't you? Which yeah. Would make things a lot better. That <laughs> guy gets done the game. <laughs> yeah. I like, I like that, getting the defense against the Blitz. I was just going to say, I was just about to say, I don't like Blitzing the wrestler, but... Because <laughs> could have just Blitzed the defenseless guy and then uh, Gr Grashnak could have Blitzed him, couldn't he? Yeah. Might have been play. Oh, baby. Good old Grashnak. I mean, the good thing is, with strength 6, he hasn't got a lot of guard. It's pretty easy to protect him from punches, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, apart from the 1 in 27, he did have a pretty good game. In fact, I think he does 1 in 27 later on as well. But <laughs> um, the next game, it was a mistake to take him. I, you know, I was well down in TV, even more down TV the next game. But because I was against Chaos in the next match... That was a big mistake. Mm. Just got clawed out of it. Just claw bombed down. So this now the goal is just score on turn eight, isn't it? Again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and come in at one one. Yeah, and see if there's anything I can do in the second half. God, I hate this game that you can't just pause it at the start. Right. Um, so punched him into Grashnak. That seems reasonable, doesn't it? And then blitz this wrestler again, I guess. There's not a lot you can do, is there? Yeah. I just, I don't even know what I do here. Hmm. I'd want a three dice with the beast even with block and uh, maybe I assist with that strength 5 and then like hit him over there and then you've got those two quite like two strength 5s next to each other they can hold the side can't they yeah and be like a, a thing if you want to switch it but maybe it's just edge over to the uh, side a bit here but not too crazy it's tough because you've really got to get forward because you can't rely on doing a GFI, can you? So that is exactly what happened. Chiggy removal. Yeah, removals weren't bad. Um, got, got some KOs rolling this half. Decided to tag the unskilled Fleshy and just keep him out of the action on a rotter. Yeah. I mean that's that's okay, but he hasn't got guard or anything, has he? So it's it's not a massive win, mm. but it's it's still fine. It's still forty k versus one hundred and ten k, isn't it? Yeah, and stand firm just really gets on my nerves. <laughs> if I can get a stand <laughs> there's firm, another one in twenty seven. Oh yeah, there's his second one. <laughs> wow, in four turns, that's outrageous. I think that's when I lost it at my opponent because he he said something about it. I just I can't I can't be dealing with it. And he was even there to make it not a frenzy trap. It was still three into three, wasn't it? Yeah. Wow. That was that was good play making it a three into three. What do you get? Yeah. Fuck all. 
Blood Bowl and still and still at least it wasn't triple skulls because then it would have been a That's hit true. on the ball. Yeah. <laughs> Nah, I just lost my mind, Jolly. <laughs> That's all. This is a bit dangerous and he could have got surfed, but I guess he didn't care about that. Maybe he should have done. Like, surfing. Him, it's just it's just a rotter. But he could have just surfed him, mm -hmm. couldn't he? Um, that might have been an idea for him. That one in 27 is actually pretty horrible. Because you've got to get up the field somehow. And I guess it's got to be... Yeah, you've got to blitz this, this, uh, what's he called, white here, and push up there, stick him on back on him, stick him on him, and then hope it's all good. Yeah, pretty much. Wasn't tilt, no, Joe, it wasn't tilt at all. <laughs> That's not what tilt means. <laughs> Yet again. <laughs> oh, that's an unlucky, that's an unlucky thing, isn't it? Because it could have got him on a, on that juicy, uh, yeah, a juicy ghoul. Another reason the beast is fucking horrible sometimes. Oh, he's good against elves. <laughs> <laughs> exactly the sort of player would be good against. Oh, I, I, I would have rather tagged, tagged the flesh with a uh, with a shitter, rotter, to be honest. I think it was just because he was down, so he only had one square of movement, so I just thought, yeah, you know, there's not enough. much else he can do. Fair enough. Want to leave him touching him, yep, that's good. This is a little bit dodgy for this wolf, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, GFI, GFI. Would be if it wasn't, if it wasn't a blizzard, this would be pretty dodgy for that wolf. Um, maybe you should have just put the uh, Beastman directly behind. Pestico directly behind. Ah, well then you bit open to the side as well. Luckily he didn't even try that. <laughs> but I mean he wouldn't anyway in a blizzard. In a blizzard it's fine. If you leave two three plus three pluses on in a blizzard I think that's mm. a fine thing to do. No stun, please. Yeah, boy. For some reason, I thought the uh, warrior was strength four and the freshie was strength five. <laughs> um, so yeah, so he's not, he's left a gaping hole here, hasn't he? That's nice of him. He has. And uh, so again, you could you could actually. Double tag here with the rotter and the uh, and the warrior now. Rot warrior could go to around the backside with this rotter who clears the way for the mighty blow blitz to get everyone through there. Ah, but then there's the beast as well. So the oh the rotter the rotter could actually just go forward to, and then the beast could come round the back of the fleshy. That's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Rotter, yeah. rotter goes up there, and then Beast gets activated while, while he's still got the guy next to him. Then that guy blitzes, everyone else gets forward, including this warrior down the side. So yeah, he... Yeah, so, so he I spent, a long, I spent quite a long time trying to figure this out. Yeah, but I see that's the thing now with, with not with moving him yeah. before the beast you've left him. Yeah, I realised too late that that was a uh, big error. Left the beast stranded. Yeah, and then he could have been right in the back of the fleshy, which is a pretty good spot to be, isn't it? Yeah. And I miscounted here. Thought I could have both of them on the corners. Oh yeah, no GFI. But now it's a GFI. Don't do the GFI. Oh man. No. Just and then a one D to try and get the Nash Grash Nack onto the. Uh... Oh yeah. Oh wait, what? Was he stunned, Grash Nack? Again? No, I ran out of time. Ran out of time. Oh, oh, what a killer. 
Uh, I quickly looked in and saw I had seven seconds, so I made the block and then the re-roll and then suddenly the clock ended. I was like, oh, shit. Oh, so God. Grashnak stayed down. I didn't try the four plus activation. Oh, it's a disaster. Disaster yeah. turn that was. <laughs> yeah. At least, at least you had the, like, at least you took the fleshy out for that turn anyway. But yeah, this is bad because he just needs the push to get the hit on the ball, doesn't he? Yeah. He could have even uh, covered that and had two dice on the ball. That he wanted. So yeah, that you really had to make that GFI as horrible as it was. Mm. Even though it was a GFI, that had to be a GFI so that you'd have still had the screen. Yeah. And again, that's something I'm not very good at doing. The risky player, three plus when I, you know, figuring out when I absolutely have to and, or, you know, playing safe and just having someone standing in the wrong square compared to somebody potentially down in the right square. Yeah. But this is still good because he's, he's run over here for no apparent reason. <laughs> so yeah. you can fully yeah. screen off that side. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice of him. I thought so. Yeah, that was uh, bizarre. <laughs> bizarre play from him. And there's another little mistake there. Oh yeah, leaving this dodge through. Yeah, he should be one, one to the left, shouldn't he? Yep. Yeah. Also activated the beast before blitzing with Grashna. Yeah, because I was open. I think I like. It would have been, a, you know, if Grashna fails that one in nine, then um, he could GFI to get a. Um, to get the fleshy on the ball, or even double GFI to hit the ball with it. Yeah, but I mean, you could have gone what four, five, six. Uh, I guess you could have GFI to activate the beast. <laughs> well, there you go. That's all right. Anyway, all it's all worked yeah. out fine. <laughs> it did. Have you got a reroll left? Yes, yeah, I, so I can do some punches. I thought about the greedy blitz through on the wolf, but uh, you know, one in nine is absolutely horrible then. Yes. Yeah, the wolf, no, so turned it down, obviously. Yeah, I think that's uh, Just as juicy as it up. is, it's not an option, is it? There's a three dice here, wasn't there? Uh, this warrior, one, two, three, four, Pestigore, two, and then you could have three dice with a strength five. Oh, yeah. Without block, but with, with, with a reroll is fine, I think. Yeah, I think two D's with two D's with block with the reroll and three D's without block with the reroll are the other things to do with uh, <laughs> with no rerolls. Oh, with, sorry, with a reroll. I think two dice yeah. without block is a bit too risky, unless the payoff is is mm. quite big. Um, so, like, if you were hitting his wolf with a claw mighty blockless claw mighty, it's probably still worth doing, isn't it? <laughs> Overall, one in eighty-one. Yeah, it's like it probably is worth it, even though probably you wouldn't do it. But it would probably be right. But probably most people wouldn't do it, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Yeah. Um. So he got all yeah, his KOs sure. back. Look at dog. He did. Look at dog. And I'd probably put Grashnak on the bench just because he's more useful for winning the game than this shithead. I know, I did think about that because I've seen you do that in the past where you keep your star off from the rock because, yeah. you know, they're, they're the star player, they're, they're supposed to win your matches. I did think about yeah. it. And there's an argument for putting your your foul appearance region guys on the uh, LOS, I think it's a fucking terrible argument, but there is an argument for it. <laughs> I would never do that, but no. you know, some people would, probably. <laughs> depends who I'm up against and depends on how much Mighty Blow they've got, you know, but with a Claw Mighty Wolf and plenty of other Mighty Blow, um, yeah, Rottis, that's what they're for. They're supposed to get. You know, yeah, he's still got two reserves, so it doesn't matter if he can as two, does it? Yeah. I was pretty lucky with uh, with removals this match. Um, it was a pretty horrible game, you know, after that start. But the removals were good. You know, he hits a lot of rotters with mighty blow. And I get away with it. He 
didn't even try the one turn. No. Which, to be fair, in a blizzard with Ash 3 with no dodge, probably probably right to not even try. I would say. I would say it's probably right to not even try. Yeah, especially uh, he's already won one. You know, this game's his to his to lose. His to win, whatever you want to say. <laughs> So I always go beast behind the LOS. Always, always. I don't know if it's right or not, but I like it. Yeah, I mean, it would be a lot better if he had guard, wouldn't it? And then uh, yeah. he'd be frenzy trapping them all as well. But yeah, it's all right, isn't it? It's like the old tree behind the LOS so no one can follow. Yeah, it's that's all it's there for. Not too, I wasn't really thinking too much about the frenzy traps with him having so much guard. But, you know, if he wants the frenzy in there, then he's, he's basing a beast and that's fine by me. Not maxing, not maxing blocks either. Mm. Oh, he's following up. He wants to get mighty blood. <laughs> You want him to just get punched? Le ballon est entre ses mains. Que va-t-il en faire? Oh, this is rowdy, isn't it? What? It is a bit. <laughs> yeah. I think I've got an idea where the blitz might be coming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Just don't want in 27 again, Grushna. And God somehow I still almost managed to fuck this up. Just wait and see what I do here, which is really fucking stupid, but I get away with it. <laughs> So yeah, cancel the assist. Get some guys down to cover is all I'm thinking. Just try and make it as safe as possible, just in case of the one in twenty-seven or or whatever else. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was pretty bad. <laughs> and then have to do a GF5 or get away with it. <laughs> And then got to do a GFI, yeah. And then that would have been a success had you not done the earlier one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that did cross my mind. I try not to think like that, but it did. And then Crash Knight goes down again, gets stunned again every single time. <laughs> yeah, that's fucking armor eight for you, isn't it? I fucking hate armor yeah. eight. I genuinely, that's why I take Bora. But then obviously his frenzy did something just then. There's maybe a touch of an overcommit there, especially with that second warrior. I don't think he was really needed. Um, yeah. Maybe hold the centre more with him. Because the danger is if you fail. Like, if you make this GFI, you've got so much strength and that presence over here. It's brilliant. The only danger is if yeah. you fail it. Um, so I think I would. I don't know. He can't really do a lot, can he? I guess he's got a guard here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, he, like, uh, he can score here, can't he? No, he's not. He's only two in. He can't score, can he? Three, four, no. five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, he can't. So he could have got the guard in. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI, and then blitzed and scored, technically. But that warrior still isn't helping that. So, yeah, maybe keep, kept him more central. Or something. Yeah. Yeah, once he switches, I realised that it was a bit of an overcommit, and I'm scrambling back a little bit. Yeah. Then he does a couple of weird chain pushes this match. There's one of them. I'm not sure what he's doing there. <laughs> when he gets his flesh off the beast. Maybe trying to get, yeah, to get him off the beast, yeah. But yeah, that's the thing. If you fail there, then he just fucks off. Yeah, that was, the, especially with a stun. Is like it is worst case scenario, I guess, failing the thing and he gets his arm broken, but that does open a lot of uh, 
real estate. Whereas if this warrior was still back here, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I think that was the, that's something that a lot of people do, isn't it? Is like overcommit, uh, uh, just a touch too strong. Like everyone does it. Um, yeah. No matter what their level, but definitely more so. Um, like I think that's one of the things is how much you overcommit is is a thing. Yeah, I mean it's okay because yeah. he didn't. Kind of found that balance. He he couldn't like he couldn't push forward with the switch. He could just switch, so it's not that bad. You just move people back central. So it's not like he wins the game from it or anything. Is it's not like his Wood Elves or something where he'd just yeah. been caged in your half of the field. He'd been like, oh fuck. <laughs> or if it had been on turn fifteen or whatever, and then he'd done. It. So it was it wasn't terrible or anything. Was that a double skull? Double vote down. Ah. Realised I hadn't blitz um, with just a couple of guys left, so I figured mm. see if I could reposition him. So maybe could have blitzed that strength five and uh, stuck him. <laughs> That's just the yeah. go, which is shit anyway. I don't know what his plan is this turn. Hit the beast. Oh, get rid of the beast. Still not, it's still not exciting, is it? <laughs> no. He just hangs around here. Yeah, I guess he's away from Krasna, which is nice for him. Right. Um, there's a hit on the ball here, isn't there? There is. I guess. I guess that's what you're going to go for, because it's fucking easy. <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> well, I say fucking easy, you need the power, don't you? Yeah, so cancel the assist with the beast. Oh, I would have blitzed with him, because he's got block. I would have uh, assisted with the uh, the deeper pestigore. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, he could have blitzed with me. I, never, I didn't even think about that. Oh, well, didn't power him anyway, so... Yeah, just the push. Hello, Pedro Jack, and I don't know how I'd back, but soon. TM. Couldn't you have uh, blocked with him? Yeah. No, I think that's a bad follow. Oh, that's alright, he's strength 5, isn't it? I, I, I think that's alright. Still got. Oh no, I haven't got the screen, that's his guy. Oh yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. I think that just opened up the screen a bit too much. Because he was going to go directly into the white if I'd had the zombie with the uh, with the mighty blow. Oh, he and gets then. away from the tents. Dirty dog. Yeah. Blitz yeah, which gets the assist. Like he needed the power bit or move after that yeah. was, was lucky. He did. And then the wolf just buggered off. Yeah, yeah, again that last turn, these were this was like an overcommit down the sideline, wasn't it? They're not doing mm. a whole lot, those two beastmen. Would have definitely kept the uh, mighty blow central. Especially against wolves, because they can always potato super easily, can't they? Fucking wolves. And especially at 1 1, and if he scores, you can't win. Like, it's hard, obviously, having to defend this. So I think Hancock was in chat, and he said, you know, he would have done the 4 plus dodge and blitz. Yeah. Rather than the blitz and base, which you know is just basically forcing him to score, you know, maybe burning his last reroll, but probably not winning me the match. Well, if you break armor, <laughs> you're good, aren't you? If you break armor on the blitz, yeah. but that's asking a lot. That is asking a lot, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't have done the dodge and blitz because I would have kept my mighty blow block beast man back. <laughs> <laughs> and blitzed right. with him without that, Yeah, that's the main problem, isn't it? <laughs> that I recommitted to a different sideline and just gave him the, uh, the run through. Yeah. 
Ce n'est pas toujours le favori qui gagne, mais cette fois-ci. But that's the thing, isn't it? Oh, that's the thing. That is the thing, because it's it is every dis every decision changes the future board state, doesn't it? So it's like. And every dice roll as well, but still. <laughs> That's why people say, oh, you've got to look at the, you know, you've just got to, well, some people say you look at the lines rather than there are no dice, but there are dice because each dice roll affects the subsequent turns and position, doesn't it? So, you know. It does, but I mean, you, you're both right. I, I should have played differently, so I had a different option other than that dodge away, but. You know, once those decisions and once those dice have gone, then they've gone. Um, and you can't dwell on it. I mean, I, I don't think the, blit, the dodge blitz is necessarily good, because that costs you a reroll. He's kind of committed to scoring this turn anyway. You've that only got two rerolls. If, if you commit a dodge reroll to that dodge blitz... So maybe I guess you could try the dodge blitz without rerolling the dodge, but then he might be able to stall. I think maybe he's going yeah. for the dodge blitz without rerolling <clears> it. That might have been the best play. Yeah, I think because I've had a, you know, I'm not feeling great. I, I shouldn't really be playing Blood Bowl. <laughs> um, and so, you know, and after that horrible start, I was just in a, if I can get away with a draw here, I'll, I'll be happy. <laughs> He's got another guy hit by a rock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow, so Grashenak gets to smack <clears throat> his wolf to bits. That's nice, isn't it? It is. And then punch things on the LOS. I don't get the LOS set up. Are we going to hit the other way? Or I guess we're gonna I'm going to hit towards Brashnak. Yeah, yeah, okay. And then finish up with the 3D. Yeah. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. But or if everyone Grashnak goes down, blitz. then I'm probably going to blitz the goal with Grashnak if everyone goes down and just fish for a power on six dice. Yeah. It's just that then you, you run the risk of missing your mighty blow hit, don't you? Um, yeah. I would have probably switched the mighty blow and the warrior um, so that you could have just started with a mighty yeah. blow hit yeah, and then you get the strength 4 because he's got an assist and then the strength 4 can hit and then the then the uh, strength 5 can hit so yeah I would, sw would have swapped the mighty blow and the, and the warrior there yeah that's fair enough yeah I should have done that uh, this is blodge steps game black swan doing coaching Yeah, obviously I'll be yeah, but I mean, I still, I, I, now that I think about it, I think you don't want to commit a re-roll that turn, but you want him to score the next turn. Also not follow there, because that's giving you a bad state for a push, and also not making the beast three dice. So I would have not followed either of those hits. All right, that's that's that that's like negating the, the, diag the diagonal blocking by, uh, it is. by following. Because now if you'd roll the push there, you've got him up here, Instead of pushing him to the mighty blow and getting an extra mighty blow hit and then having to move him round to even activate the beast as well. <laughs> yeah, so I didn't like that. I didn't like any of that LOS block, but yeah, maybe at this point you're tilting a bit. <laughs> no, but I think I'm just, Actual yeah, I'm, I'm also thinking I've only got four turns and every little square forward makes a difference. Fair enough. But actual tilt then. <laughs> Not someone shouting on stream. <laughs> Alleged tilt. Actual tilt. Alright. So that's, that's alright, isn't it? Gotta be wary of this. Uh... Oh, I don't know about that. I don't know why he's going. Alright, so you've got to think about the ball, haven't you? One, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah. He could have been one square back, so he can't run around the back. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8 GFI, like that's literally possible, as stupid as it is, it's possible isn't it? Yeah. So maybe that mighty blow could be one back, um, because there is a way through here now. Mm -hmm. um, I mean it's unlikely he's going to go for it, but it is possible, so maybe he'd be better one yeah. square back, but as you say with few turns left, being an extra square forward is fine. Il a pris le ballon. Je suis censé dire quelque chose de marquant ou de spirituel. And I'd rather be in the middle than on the side there. So that's another reason we've had him one square back, because I would have rather been not next to the beast. Right. Because you have got you have got Drashnak over here as well, which is quite strong, isn't it? Because you're quite strong over this side as well. It's not as yeah. if like you're way stronger either side, so I think you definitely want to be middle. Oh, 
look a dog. Horrible. That was the bad thing about it. Although it was kind of good getting two people on Grashnak. On the other hand, now Grashnak's just taken out the game by a shitter effect. Yeah. Um, can't use his frenzy to get him. Can't get three dices on him. Is a bit yeah. annoying. Um, but now it gets tricky, doesn't it? Because you want to get rid of this zombie. Definitely want to get rid of this zombie. Probably just straightforward. Hit him straightforward. Get the three die with a beast, and then that frees up this warrior. And then you can run forward here. Maybe he's blitz the strength four, or blitz back. Like either way is fine, isn't it? I guess you. I guess you could just blitz the wolf with mighty blow, or you could try and blitz the strength four. I think either of those are fine, and then get the ball up. Probably, probably yeah. blitzing the strength four lets you get the ball up further, and then you can do rush knack block at the end. And uh, yeah, okay. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Yeah. So I think if you, yeah, I think it would be better to fight. I think I was going for the push power, and then I could have got the beast in on the guard white and the. Uh, ah, yeah, yeah. That's fair. Why I was doing that? I was gonna. Yeah. yeah, I was hoping to go around the zombie that was down. Yeah, that's fair. Didn't work though, so I just got to. So I got to base the goal, which is fine. He's the one I really wanted on ten. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is that is nice, isn't it? Cheeky stun. Don't like the final position of him because that means you're basing a guy who can one D you. Yeah. yeah. Um, which is pretty good for him. <laughs> yeah. My guy take. Yeah, I should have been. I should have been one over. There's no way he can cancel that assist. Well, unless he red dices with uh, and gets the power on Grashnak with red dice. Yeah, I get, yeah, you can just you can just leave Grashnak there, can't you? Yeah. Um. So yeah, I think I go for that one D as him. You can move the other guys around. Yeah. And you just go for the one D. <clears throat> yeah, that wasn't great. Try to get away from tents. Ah, I guess. Yeah. Saucy pals. <laughs> yeah, of course. Or did, or did he try and fail to get away from the beast? No, no, he didn't even try the. Didn't Whoa. even try the dodge. What a mad ass. Well, this is the two two is looking good now, <laughs> isn't it? Right, this might Ooh. be what this might have been a horrible move. Oh yeah, the scatter. Oh. I try the ball scatter to get it away from. Oh yeah, no, I think I'd rather just try to hit the uh, hit the fleshy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather hit the fleshy. Oh yo 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 yo. <laughs> well, it was a pretty good hitting the fleshy. <laughs> Is it turned yeah. out? <laughs> No, I think I'm definitely on a bit of tilt. Yeah, that was that was wild and crazy when that's making the touchdown so much harder, isn't it? Yeah. It's a one scoring threat. Isn't it? Yeah. Just Great. the one. He's going to double one this. <laughs> Better lucky than good, Jim. Better lucky than good. <laughs> oh, absolutely <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> Didn't die, though. No, oh, no. <laughs> right, you've got to block him, yeah. Oh, God. Now what do you do? Block with Brashnak? I, I guess tried it doesn't to free really. Grashnak. No, I think you had to block with Grashnak there to free the place for the warrior. No, the warrior would, would go too far, yeah. so yeah, you gotta. The warrior was still a GFI. Yeah, yeah, no. The, was... uh, the rotter was a GFI, so I just had to try and get lucky and free Grashnak, which I did. 
And it's just three plus. With a reroll. Easy. Look at dog. Failed. Never failed. Three plus with a reroll. Look at dog. <laughs> yeah. And then I still push my luck with a couple of uh, <laughs> block blocks. Yeah, so it's it, funny, isn't it? Because obviously the first <clears throat> bit was horrible, but then after that, the last bit was pretty lucky to get that last touchdown, for sure. It Very was. lucky to get the last touchdown. I think I was a bit unlucky for his one dice to to get me without the re-roll and, uh, you know, to fail the, fail the three plus GFI to stop the wall from being able to cancel the assist. You know, a couple of little things like that. But yes, once he once he got the ball on the ground, I was very lucky to, to get it back up and... I mean, yeah, it was open. yeah, it was just careless. It was a careless move to give him that, wasn't it? It was it was it was yeah. really likely to get you down. If he commits a reroll, he's seventy five percent, isn't he? So he's almost certainly going to put you down with a blitz. And then you've yeah, only got true. a couple of turns left to try and do something. Like he, that just puts you in a horrible spot. And he even didn't even try to get the ghoul. Like he could have even got the ghoul loose as well, mm -hmm. couldn't he? Made it yeah. even better. And then that ghoul might have already been free, so he wouldn't have had to make that two plus dodge. In which case, it would have been double skull, which you could have re-rolled and, uh, and knocked you over. <laughs> Very true. So there you go, that mistake that he made. And he may well have just failed the technicals roll, but on the other hand, he might have got free and then had an extra player back to react. Yeah. So there you go. Was that was that as good for you as it was for me? <laughs> that was good, Jimmy. I enjoyed that. I, uh, I always enjoy these, uh, these coaching sessions. I like looking through what I've done wrong and what I can do better. Glorious. Thank so, you. Yeah, that was great. Thank you very much then, Blodge Step slash Flicky Flack. Um, and uh, yeah, thank you very much, Jimmy. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic. <laughs>